Okay, so we're back with the big hit again, which we're putting on a BBS HD. Last video, we looked at the sizing with the tool that I made and determined that it should work with the standard 73 or 68 to 83 millimeter version of it. So we have a brand new motor here, and that is courtesy of North Bay Bikes. So thank you very much for them for providing that motor. So we're gonna put it on the bottom bracket here and see how it looks. So we have the BBS HD on the bike now, and it has a pretty decent rotation onto the frame. It's prevented from going any further by the metalwork around it, but it's looking pretty good. It's going to have a good chain line back to the rear. And what we're going to need to do is add in just a small spacer in there, maybe two millimeters, just to keep it out from here, and then make the equivalent spaces for this part for when the lock ring goes on because if you bring it out one way you need to bring it back the other way with the spaces so we're going to make those up on the 3d printer and see how it looks then so the good thing about 3d printing is we don't have to go around hunting hardware stores for various parts and washers and things so what we've got here is um, a larger spacer for going around the the main axle part of the bbs hd and then we have a smaller spacer here to space out where the uh, where the lock ring arms go on and clamp it into place so these are parts we need and they've been sliced up ready to go and you can see down here it's going to take us 14 minutes to print these in polycarbonate which should be strong enough to do what we need so here we have the presser mini and it's printing the first parts so 14 minutes later and we have our finished parts uh, so we have a big spacer and two smaller spacers for the lock plate so we'll take these parts down and try them out on the bike and hopefully I've got my calculations right. So this is the first spacer and this piece goes over the axle of the BBS HD and slots on there. Then we slot the BBS HD into the, the bottom bracket here. And then we need to use the last two spacers which are gonna go with this lock ring part there. So let's get this on first and then I'll show you how that goes. So this is the BBS HD on the bike and you can see just in here the spacer and that gives us just a little bit of clearance around the swing arm here at the bottom. We might actually go down to two millimeters instead of three millimeters, but it's okay for testing it out right now. So this is the piece that essentially bites into the frame. You can see these little teeth here and that bites into the aluminum on the bottom bracket and holds the motor in place and stops it rotating. Uh, quite often, um, people can get these the wrong way around, and uh, if you do, your motor's gonna swing loose. So it's really important to get these flush so that all these teeth here bite evenly into this part of the bottom bracket. Um, so you put these two bolts in on the locking plate to start with, and you can see that, not very good light here, but you can see the spacer here um, that brings it this way and then the last part is to uh, is to get the lock ring and put that into place and we're just dry fitting this for now um, we're not going to torque it down with the correct amount of torque at the moment um, but yeah it looks good and uh, those spaces are going to work uh, we might go down to two millimeters but either way it's looking pretty good so you have three millimeters here and then you space it again with three millimeters here because you're pushing it this way on the bike but it has good clearance and it's gonna have good chain line to the back. And all we have to do now is get the other bits and get the high voltage kit and we can get this bike on the road and running.